right, so I'm gonna take a few minutes here and show you how to detail a handicap ramp. Um, Want to add a little bit of detail into my model and show off some of the features and tools in Business Center here. So what I have here is I've already elevated my edge of pavement, my top face of curb, my back of curb, uh, my gutter line, um, which are these, you know, the blue, magenta, gray, and cyan color lines you see here. Everything you see in orange is basically at no elevation or elevation zero. So I'm going to use a combination of elevating lines, editing lines, and adding this data to my surface. So I, you can see over here I already got a surface started and created. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to elevate this edge of concrete line or and or top the top of curb here. I'm going to use that using the lines command under data prep. So we can use this tool to find intersecting lines and uh, elevate them. So I'm going to pick the intersecting lines and I want to elevate it to this top back, top face of curb. So it picks up that information there. And then the line I'm going to elevate is that one there. Now I can also, if I want to just to get additional vertices, select this point here and elevate <laughs> the back of curb as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply that. And you can see now that line is cyan, therefore it's been elevated to that particular uh, elevation. Now I'm also going to come up and I'm going to edit this line because I want to make sure that I have a 2% cross slope from the edges over here. So this is where I'm using my elevate command. So I've got the edit line string. I'm on the vertical tab. You can see it's already put in some points uh, along those lines uh, where it intersects. So those are some uh, PVIs. And I'm going to add a couple other PVIs in here to get the 2% slope across this way that I need. So I'm going to come over here under vertical and I'm going to add a vertical a VPI. And I'm going to use this command here called offset slope. I'm going to pick my reference line being this top back curb. And I'm going to cross slope it 2%. And then I can just pick a distance. So I'm coming here and I want to offset it there 2%. And I'm just going to go ahead down here and pick that point there. So again, just sloping it over 2%. And then I need to come over here and do this one as well. So I'm going to come over and change my RF reference line to this guy over here. I'm just going to pick a point. We'll grab a point there as well as one over here. Okay. So now that I've got that elevated, what I can do now is go back to my elevate lines command. And for my intersecting lines, I'm going to choose this one. And I'm also going to choose that top face of curb, that top back of curb. And the lines I'm going to elevate now are the ramp. So I'm going to pick this one and I'm going to pick that one. And we'll go ahead and apply those. Oops. I needed to unselect that one. So I only got these three selected. All right. So I'm elevating all of those. And the two that I want to elevate, <clears throat> are my, those are my intersecting. These are the ones I want to elevate. I want to pick those two. I'm going to hit apply. So now I've elevated those. So you can see it's starting to take shape. So next, I'm going to then choose this line here, which is my gutter pan, so that I can elevate these lines here, which are my basically going to be the bottom of my ramp. So I'm going to select this point, or this line, this line, this line, and this line. And I'm going to apply that. So now I've got those elevated. But now I need to make sure that they've got a 2% crossfall. So I'm going to come back up and I'm going to edit my individual lines. I'm going to pick this object here first. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a VPI at the end. And I'm going to choose an incoming slope method. So if I go to horizontal, you can see that it's going from that point to that point. So that's my incoming slope. And my incoming slope is going to be a 2%. So we'll apply that. It raises that line there. We go ahead and pick our other line, our next line. Do the same thing. Going to add a vertical a VPI vertical point here, elevation point at the end, and we're going to go up two percent for that one. Oops, got to pick incoming slope. Set two percent. So now that I've got that one there. We'll do the same thing over here. <clears throat> so I'll pick this other line over here. And as you can see, move over, and we're going to add a VPI at. Oops, let me show you. Yeah, okay. I got the right distance there. Incoming slope. And with 2% on 
on that. So we're raising it up 2%. And we did grab the last one, which is this guy. And do another one at the end at a 2%. And we're, oh, messed that one up. So I'm just going to undo. And I can choose my incoming slope. Sorry, cancel. I'm going to add a VPI. And pick there. Nope, I want elevation, I want incoming slope. I'll pick two, All right, save. So now I've got that saved there. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to my elevate lines and I'm going to elevate the intersect there, this orange line you see here, which is the bottom. So I'm going to elevate off of that. I'm going to elevate off of that. I'm going to elevate off of that. And I'm going to elevate off of my edge of flow line. I'm do the same thing. I pick this guy, this guy, and this guy. So then my intersecting lines are going to be, or the ones I'm going to elevate are this one and this one. So I'm going to apply that. And now you can see they've been elevated properly. So then what I need to do is I need to clip the lines. So I got to clip back some of these. So I'm going to use this clipping lines option. I'm going to start with this point and I'm going to clip it back to that line there. And the line I'm going to break is this one. So it should pick up. If I come back up to my crossing lines over here, let's go ahead and do both these at the same time. I'm going to select that line and that line. And then I'm going to break that, that line there. So we're going to hit apply. And we'll do the same thing. I'll show you in a second what, we do, what we're doing. So I'm going to clip this line. Those are my clipping lines. And I'm going to grab that one. And then the line I'm going to break is my top face of curb, which is that one. And we'll apply that. Now, if this worked and I got good CAD, then you'll see. I'm going to go and use my delete command. And I'm going to delete this piece and that piece, as well as that piece and that piece. So we're going to apply that. So now that I've got those clipped, <clears throat> I need to do one more elevate. So we'll close this. This time I'm going to elevate on this line, this line, this line, and that line. And we'll do the same thing over here. We'll pick this line, this line, this line, and that line. So now that I have those, I'm going to come and the lines I'm going to elevate are my top back of curb, my face. We'll do the same thing over here. I'll pick my face, top back of curb. So now when I hit apply, it's elevated those ramps down. So as you can see, okay, I got the lines elevating. And because I have these lines categorized into my surfaces, all I have to do is I have this, I put it on my quick access toolbar, but it's to build takeoff surfaces. When I click that, it goes through, it rebuilds the surfaces using those brake lines. We'll ignore that message. And now you can see I've got some detailed handicap ramps into my model. So I've used a combination of tools, mostly uh, this elevate lines command, the edit lines command, and the build surfaces. And there's some other uh, commands in there that I use for, um, uh, make up the modules from the data prep module to take off uh, command as well as part of having some of my details set up into my model. Uh, so if you want to learn more about Business Center and figure out which modules were good for uh, uh, you to do techniques like this, then contact your local SciTech dealer.